Did you know that Seth, the ancient Egyptian god, was not just a symbol of chaos, but also a protector of the sun god Ra? In the heart of ancient Egypt, a deity of dual nature emerged, embodying both tumult and protection. This deity was Seth, a figure who challenged the norms of divinity with his strikingly complex persona. Here at Arcane Anthology, we love to delve into such intriguing mythological tales. So buckle up as we unravel the mysteries of Seth, the god of chaos and change. In the vast pantheon of ancient Egyptian gods, Seth stands as a figure of great complexity. Often associated with chaos, storms and the desert, Seth is a deity who embodies disruption. His name alone, derived from the Egyptian word sutek, meaning to dazzle, perfectly encapsulates his volatile and unpredictable nature. Yet Seth's role extends beyond the embodiment of turmoil. He is also a crucial player in maintaining the cosmic balance. In the day, he sails with the sun god Ra, protecting him from the serpent Apep, a symbol of primordial chaos. Each dawn, Seth battles and conquers Apep, ensuring the sun's safe passage across the sky. His role as both disruptor and protector showcases the intricate dualities of his character. Like the desert he rules over, Seth is a force of change, unpredictable yet necessary. His association with the desert, a place of harsh conditions and constant change, mirrors his role in the pantheon. The desert, after all, can be both a place of danger and a source of precious resources, paralleling Seth's dual nature. His character is multifaceted, a troublemaker who dismembers his brother Osiris, yet also a guardian who protects the sun god Ra. This duality makes Seth a fascinating figure. It reminds us that chaos and order are not always diametrically opposed, but can coexist in the same entity, contributing to the balance of the universe. Seth's character represents the necessary chaos that stirs change and progression. Despite his reputation for causing discord, his role is essential in the grand scheme of the cosmos. Without Seth's chaos, there would be no change, no progression, no evolution. His disruptive force, therefore, is not merely destructive, but also a catalyst for transformation. Seth, therefore, embodies not just chaos, but necessity, making him a riveting figure in Egyptian mythology. The tale of Seth is one steeped in betrayal, rivalry and complex moralities. At the heart of this tale is a god who embodies the dual nature of chaos and order, a deity who is simultaneously feared and revered. Seth was born of the sky goddess Nut and the earth god Geb. He was the third of their five children, which included Osiris, Isis, Nephthys and Horus the Elder. Seth was different, associated with the harsh, inhospitable desert, contrasting his brother Osiris who was linked with the fertility of the earth. The rivalry between Seth and Osiris was a defining aspect of their relationship. When Osiris became the king of Egypt, Seth was filled with envy and resentment. In a plot that would reverberate through the ages, Seth cunningly murdered his brother. He tricked Osiris into entering a coffin, which he then sealed and threw into the Nile. With Osiris out of the way, Seth assumed the throne of Egypt, heralding an era of chaos and disorder. But the story didn't end there. Osiris's wife Isis managed to retrieve his body and, with the help of the god Anubis, resurrected him long enough to conceive a son, Horus. This child was destined to challenge Seth, to reclaim his father's throne and restore order to Egypt. Thus began the epic battles between Horus and Seth, which raged for 80 years. Their struggles were fierce and destructive, mirroring the clash between order and chaos, between the fertile lands of Egypt and the harsh desert. Yet in these battles, Seth also played a protective role. Each night he would fight the serpent Apep to protect the sun god Ra, a testament to his complex role in the pantheon of Egyptian gods. Seth's tale is one of contrasts. He is the murderer of Osiris, the usurper of his throne, and the embodiment of chaos and disruption. Yet he is also the protector of Ra, a necessary part of the cosmic balance. He represents the harsh realities of life, the struggles, and the changes, just as much as he symbolizes the destructive forces of nature. In Seth, we find a character who is not just a villain, but also a guardian, a testament to the multifaceted nature of mythological characters. His story reminds us that chaos and order are two sides of the same coin, that change, though often disruptive, is an integral part of existence. Seth, the god of chaos and change, 
remains one of the most intriguing figures in Egyptian mythology, a deity as complex as the culture that created him. Understanding Seth requires delving deeper into the symbolism and implications of his character. As we've seen, he embodies chaos, storms, and the desert, all elements that can be destructive, yet are also essential parts of the natural world. This duality in Seth's character is a reflection of the natural order, where creation often comes from destruction, and life is born from the barren desert. In the ancient Egyptian worldview, Seth was more than just a villain. He was a necessary force that balanced out the order represented by other gods such as Osiris and Horus. This balance between order and chaos, stability and change, is a fundamental principle in many cultures and philosophies. From the yin and yang of Chinese philosophy, to the concept of creative destruction in modern economics. Seth's role in the murder of Osiris and his subsequent battles with Horus further underscore this duality. While his actions are seen as disruptive and harmful, they also set in motion a cycle of events that ultimately leads to the restoration of order. In this way, Seth represents the idea that change, even when it's chaotic and challenging, is a necessary part of life and growth. Interestingly, Seth's complex character has had a significant influence on how we perceive mythological figures today. In modern narratives, we often see characters who, like Seth, embody a mix of positive and negative traits. They may be flawed and make mistakes, but they also have redeeming qualities that make them relatable and human. This shift towards more nuanced character portrayals can be traced back, in part, to figures like Seth, who challenge our notions of what it means to be a hero or a villain. In conclusion, Seth's character offers us a deeper understanding of the ancient Egyptian worldview. His dual role as a force of chaos and a protector of order reflects the Egyptians' complex understanding of the natural world and the cycle of life and death. Seth, therefore, stands as a symbol of the intricate dance between chaos and order, change and stability. Seth, the god of chaos and change, is a figure of tremendous complexity and intrigue. His narrative in ancient Egyptian mythology is woven with threads of betrayal, rivalry, but also guardianship. He embodies the necessary chaos that drives change and maintains cosmic balance. This duality makes Seth a fascinating character, both a villain and a guardian. If you found Seth's tale interesting, do remember to like and subscribe to Arcane Anthology. Share your thoughts on Seth's character. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the character of Seth, and we look forward to sharing more mythological tales with you. Our exploration of ancient Egyptian mythology does not end here. We're just getting started. Next time, we'll venture into the captivating realm of Journey to the Afterlife, ancient Egyptian beliefs and practices. Join us next time as we delve into the fascinating Egyptian concepts of death and the afterlife.